Walter Algood Erickson was born on May 30, 1926, to Anna and Algood Erickson. He lived in Fintown with his sister Gloria and half brother Harold. At the age of nine, he started taking accordion lessons from Eric Olson and had his first professional playing job at the age of 14. He attended the High School of Music and Art in Manhattan and his first recording was sponsored by C.A. Hansen and Brothers with his band, The Scandinavian Music Makers, with Gunnar Lindholm on guitar and Carl Lorenzen on bass. Walter's musical career was interrupted by his service in the U.S. Army during World War II and was with the 36th Infantry Division as a bazooka man. He played the glockenspiel in a marching band and then he found an accordion and formed the Continental Band and entertained at many officers' clubs. He returned to New York after the war in 1946 and resumed his musical career. He performed extensively and recorded with his then mentor, Arvid Franzen. Walter and his father, Algut, entertained together until his father passed in 1950. He established the Ericsson Accordion Studio at the Viking Music House on 8th Avenue and 58th Street on Lapskaus Boulevard. At one time, he had over 1,000 students, including his first accordion pupil, Herbie Anderson. Lillian Anderson, Ruth Johnson, Bert Strumholm, Artie Carlson, Joanne Aukison, Jean Schroeder, George Hedlund, and later on Ellen Lindstrom. Also at this time, Walter was a regular on the popular live radio program Scandinavian Echoes with Hans Berglund. He made several recordings and produced live shows with Hans. During this era in time, Walter collaborated with other artists such as Pietro Frosini, Charles Maglianti, Viola Turpinen, Viola Sponberry, Toral Tollefsen, Pietro Dero, Sven Tollefsen, Harry Valin, Rune Persson, and Brian Grinaldsen. Walter was featured in the magazine Rhythmi, promoting the new sensational uniform checkerboard keyboard invented by accordionist friend John Reuther. In 1949, he married his sweetheart, Emmy Nordine, who he met at Vasa Temple in the Bronx at a Swedish dance. They had two children, Jeannie, Emmy, and Walter Allen, and lived at 1249 78th Street, where he had his accordion studio. He made his first trip to Sweden in 1955 upon meeting Andrew Walter, who made a trip to America earlier that year, resulting in many years of original compositions, appearances, and recordings with his Andre Walter. Visits to Sweden led to musical collaborations with Uli Jani, Sven Olaf Sandberg, Ule Bergman, Valle Söderlund, Mugens Ellegard from Denmark, Sven Palm, Helge Blum, Kineste Kalle, and best friend Andrew Walter along with Walter's Swedish mentor, Kalle Julebo. He was the only person to take movies at Carl Julebo's 70th birthday celebration in Sweden. In the years that followed, in between trips to Scandinavia, Walter played at the Danish club in Brooklyn, Vasa Temple in the Bronx, the Swedish Football Club, Swedish Seaman Center, Finn Hall, Imatra Hall, Sons of Norway Hall, Vasa Clubhouse on Dean Street, Norwegian Seaman's House, and Vasa Park of New Jersey. His most famous New York band musicians at the time were Sven Tullefsen, Tony DiBartolo, Walter Andreasen, and Roy Wilson. He appeared at major Scandinavian American events in Manhattan for the Scandinavian American Foundation, the American Scandinavian Association, Finlandia Foundation, and the Danish American Society, the Swedish American Chamber of Commerce, the Norwegian American Chamber, and Danish Chamber. Too many to mention. He provided the music for numerous dances, anniversaries, birthdays, private parties, cruises, banquets, picnics, weddings, and church events. In the early 60s, Walter moved his family to the corner house on 78th Street and Fort Hamilton Parkway, a great location for music students to travel to by bus or subway, and he continued to do that during the day, while busy with music jobs on the weekends and whenever. He recorded a series of sing-along in Swedish, sing-along in Norwegian, Finnish recordings with Veiko Avanainen and Lasse Pillejamaha and Danish albums, the Swedish sing-alongs featured 
Andrew Walters' wife, Birgit Kaving, Ricky Lerv, and Shel Vigren on vocals, while the sing-along in Norwegian albums featured Odd Tom Riestal of Øvre Bird, Norway. Walter recorded with the popular Brødena Lindqvist and Shel Vigren and was on the TV show Niga Malt with Bussi Larsen, Lerdame Larsen, Sveriges Magasin, Musikant med Belje, and Huska Du. During the 70s, he paired up with Hasse Telemar, Sweden's popular host of Ring So Spila V radio program. Together, they appeared on many TV shows in Sweden and toured the USA with visiting groups. Ericsson and Telemar recorded four albums, which included American swing music. Hasse and Walter were very close until the end. Hasse's wife, Annalisa, and Walter's wife, Emmy, also became best girlfriends. Walter appeared on American TV programs such as I Remember Mama, The NBC Home Show, The CBS Children's Show Around the World with Gunther Less, and was a guest on The Merv Griffin Show, The Arthur Murray Show, and Faye Emerson Shows. He made radio commercials for Rheingold and SAS Airlines. He recorded with RCA Victor a series of folk dances under the direction of Michael Herman that was used in all New York City public schools. Walter had his own radio shows, including the Scandinavian Breakfast Club, Viking Melody Time, and Scandinavian Echoes. Walter was honored with awards such as the Knight's Cross First Class Order of Vasa from the King of Sweden, the St. Olav's Medal from the King of Norway, and the Finnish Government Cultural Medal and various honors in the USA, including Man of the Year at New York's Vasa Day, along with Erik Olav Eriksson. In the 1980s, Walter accompanied the Vasa folk dancers as their main musician and toured with them in 1983 to Sweden and Orland. He appeared on live TV at the grand finale of the Helsinga Humboldt. In 1986, he recorded A Swedish Christmas, 
with the Vasa Folk Dancers, working together with Richard Feingold's arrangements with a 24-voice choir in four-part harmony. In 1987, the Scandinavian Accordion Club of New York was born, working together with his daughter, Jeannie Whitman. In 1988, the SAC appeared at the South Street Seaport as part of the New Sweden 88, and Walter and his son Wally played on stage in the presence of King Carl XVI Gustav and Queen Sylvia. Walter accompanied 100 singing children in folk costumes from the combined local barn clubbins led by Jeannie to the tune of Ul Carl Gustav. In 1990, he accompanied the Heritage Choir at the grand reopening of Ellis Island. In 1992, the SAC toured Sweden and Åland with a busload of 50 people. It was there that Walter received the treasured Publiks Favorit Award, bestowed upon him at the largest accordion festival in the world, Bellspielvid Landsvegs Kanten in Ronsetter Vamland, Sweden. Walter was an active member of the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers, the Vasa Order of America, Sons of Norway, Balder Lodge of the Masonic Order, the Scandinavian American Businessmen's Association, Musicians Union Local 802, the Swedish Society of New York, the American Accordion Association, the Swedish Accordion Association, and the Norwegian Accordion Association. For a number of years, he wrote a monthly column for the Swedish accordion magazine, Drogspils Nytt. Walter made his own records in his studio in his basement of his house on 78th Street in Brooklyn and developed his own film, 
as photography was a strong passion. He enjoyed painting, designing the artwork for LP record covers, and was a shortwave radio fanatic. He also played the Hammond organ, piano, clarinet, and bass. He was also a lover of cats, and had many of them over the years, giving some of his pupils newborn kittens. He was a gentle man with a comical personality. Walter Erickson recorded over 2,000 selections for various labels in 20 languages. He has used other professional names on these recordings, such as Walter Nordini, Nordini's Musette Orchestra, Val Toro Ventura, San Diego Tango Orchestra, Scandinavian Boys, Pohoyol Pohat, and Egan Walter. Walter has composed more than 300 songs, which were recorded by himself and other artists and continue to be played today. In July 1993, Walter was invited back to Velspiel, but took ill upon landing at Arlanda Airport in Stockholm and was rushed to the hospital while staying with the Telemars. Upon his return home to Brooklyn, New York in August, he was admitted to Lutheran Medical Center. Walter Algood Erickson succumbed to liver cancer on September 20th, 1993. He was only 67 years old. At the time, he was survived by his wife, Emmy, of 44 years, two children, Jeannie and Wally, and their spouses, and four grandchildren, Chad, Nicole, Britt, and William. Annalisa was born one month after Walter passed. To honor her father, Jeannie started the Walter Erickson Music Fest, a musical weekend at Vassa Park, Bud Lake, New Jersey. Many musicians and years of musical tributes poured in, and some of these moments can be viewed on the website www.scannedjam.com or youtube.com slash Scandinavian Echoes. In 2002, Jeannie helped tie the ribbon at the Accordion Museum in Ron Setter's Hembigsgården, where the annual Accordion Festival is held. At Drogspiel's Expo Museum, one can visit the Walter Erickson Room, where there is an exhibit dedicated to him and his music. Visit the museum's website, www.drogspielsexpo.com. Walter's grandson, Chad Widman, has a great interest in Walter's music and its history. He has taken great privilege to help in contributing and preserving the legacy of his grandfather. He has created a website with photos, videos, articles, radio and TV programs featuring Walter Erickson and other musicians too. Visit the virtual Walter Erickson Museum at www.waltererickson.com. There is a Walter Erickson fan page on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Walter Algut Erickson. From shortwave radio to 78s to 45s to 33 and a third LPs, 8 tracks, cassettes, and CDs, Walter would have loved to have seen himself on websites like YouTube and Facebook, along with the thought that he could be seen and heard all over the world. This is Jeannie. And this is Chad. It, it is, is with great hope that his musical legacy will continue and never be forgotten. forgotten.